For decades, people interested in the phenomenon are debating on how UFOs fly or do they even fly at all. In this video, we are going to take a look into this problem and assume that aliens are extraterrestrials and are coming from another solar system. In my first video, I was talking about interdimensional aliens, but now let's take a look into the other hypothesis. What if they are visiting us from very far away and how do they travel such a vast distances measured in light years? Many researchers are suggesting the exotic anti-gravity system that frees the craft from the force of gravity. This exotic propulsion system is required if we want the UFOs not to break the known laws of physics. In the 2004 Nimitz case, the Tic Tac UFO showed acceleration of 12,000 g-forces and speed over 100,000 miles per hour. No known material can sustain that force in the nature. But there's one way to go even faster than that, and that's if you move along the geodesics of space-time. In this video, I'll try to explain briefly what UAPTheory.com has speculated. I strongly recommend you to read the entire article, I will leave the link in the description. Geodesics are straight line on a curved surface. Curved spacetime also has geodesics and the International Space Station moves on one. That's why astronauts don't feel acceleration, are in zero gravity and in free fall despite the fact that they are moving with speed over 17,000 miles per hour. Geodesics are the natural path you take through spacetime if nothing pushes you elsewhere. So if UFOs are moving across the geodesics, they don't feel acceleration and can travel very fast. But because geodesics depend on the curvature of spacetime, they are fixed, so UFOs will need to have some exotic propulsion system that allows them to curve the spacetime into the required shape and create geodesics to move freely. According to general relativity, this would require a massive impossible amount of energy putting in particular places to wrap the spacetime. But with quantum theory and quantum gravity, this might change. Since 2009, some scientists argue that space turns out to be a network of quantum bits that are all entangled with each other. The amount of entanglement of two bits determines how close they are. More entanglement closer, less entanglement far away. We thus understand what space is, what distances in that space are and finally what motion really is. Motions are changes in the amount of entanglement of a quantum bit with all the others. This propulsion system would manipulate the spatial entanglement network and introduce curvature, thus enabling geodesic motion. So if we had a complete theory of quantum gravity, a complete description of the entanglement network, then we should be able to create technology to manipulate the network just as we can build quantum computers by knowing quantum mechanics. Some of the indicators that UAPs use gravitational propulsion systems are the round geometrical shapes with no preferred forward-facing direction and no wings or afterburners. The particles are moving along the curved geometry, avoiding the craft because UAPs create an envelope of vacuum so they can move without a friction both in the air and water or in the space. There are many eyewitnesses describing UAPs entering the water with high speed without creating huge splashes. As some videos suggest, we should see gravitational lensing around the UAPs when they maneuver as they must change the geometry of their distortion field to change their trajectory. If this optical effect is large enough, we should see the UAP change its shape as it accelerates or turns. We may also see the background of the UAP distorted in its vicinity. We don't see the UAP directly since we are always seeing it through the distortion field of the created vacuum, like an object in a distorted glass container so they may appear like they are surrounded by glass since light moves from air into that vacuum and then back into the air as it exits. A pilot can then have the false impression that the UAP is surrounded by glass. Ryan Graves reported that many pilots have witnessed the flying dark cubes inside a glass-like balls. The bright light that UAPs are often associated with is a product of the propulsion system and the electromagnetic waves used to influence the spatial entanglement network and introduce curvature. UAPs emit a bright light signal that they send out to touch all the points in the space that they are manipulating and as we said every point in space is a quantum bit and the continuous space is due to the entanglement between those bits. Since the light is actually a part of the propulsion system, we expect it might change depending on navigation. For example, if UAP accelerates in any way, the intensity should increase or color might change. 
UAP theory speculates that the reactor on the craft changes the created entropy into an electromagnetic signal and transfer it into the entanglement network producing curvature along the spatial points touched by that signal. This means that the reactor produces gravitational field because the gravitational field is the entropy itself. This is very similar to the propulsion system that Bob Lazar has described while his alleged work in Area 51 on reverse engineering UFO crafts. His description is that the UFO reactor produces gravity and once you can produce gravity you can do whatever you want from bending space to time travel. Maybe in another video we can look into Bob Lazar claims if there's interest, so let me know down in the comments. This technology can also be used to lift objects, people or cattle by the UAPs. To do so, a beam needs to be projected to touch all the spatial points between the UAP and the ground. The electromagnetic signal produces the curvature and makes the objects fall up into the craft. The object will feel weightless but needs to be protected from moving sideways through the beam and falling out of it. This means the beam also produces a curvature that keeps object from falling out. An object lifted by such a beam would feel pressure from the sides but also experience weightlessness due to the free fall motion. The same technology can also be used to create electrical currents in any device. By projecting a beam and exploiting the link between spacetime and electromagnetism, any technology can be manipulated, nuclear weapons disabled and missiles sent back. There's also speculations that this link can be used to change and manipulate our own perception and reality because our body and brain also send electromagnetic signals. There was and still is an effort in the military to create or reverse engineer this exotic gravitational propulsion system and there are even patents made by the Navy and Salvatore Pais. So in my opinion we should take this concept and theory very seriously. I hope you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button, share and subscribe with notifications on. Right now I really need your support so if you can please consider supporting me on Patreon, that's my only way to make this channel self-sustainable. Big thanks to my 10 Patreon supporters, link is in the description. See you in the next video.